Hey there, it's Michael again. So last week on our training tips, we talked about why you should get outside and ride in the snow. And on this week's edition, I'm gonna talk about some tips for actually getting that done. So the first tip, and maybe the most important one overall, is don't take it too seriously. Have fun, it's okay if you crash, it's usually soft, especially if it's snowy like this here. And don't worry so much about following your heart rate or your training plan right to a T. As a coach, I tell my athletes all the time that this time of year, it's more important just to get outside and get that technical practice in and take that mental break from the trainer than it is to follow the training plan and the heart rate zones to a T. There's lots of time for that when you're indoors and in the rest of the year. As far as some other practical tips, first thing I would look at is your tire pressure. You should be running basically the lowest tire pressure that you possibly can be without rimming out all the time. So what I usually do when I go outside is I start out with a little bit of a higher tire pressure than I think I'd need. And this is different depending on what bike you're running, how big you are, what size tires you have. But say I'm on gravel tires, I might start out at 35 PSI. When I get out there, if I notice that I'm sliding around a little bit more, I'll lower the tire pressure until I feel comfortable. When you notice that if you're too low, you'll start hitting things like roots, curbs, and at that point you definitely want to go up a little bit in the tire pressure because nothing's worse on a cold winter's day than having to deal with a flat. Tip number two is try not to stop too much, especially in the snow. For one, you're gonna get cold, but as you can see here, one of the bigger problems is actually that your pedals and your cleats are gonna freeze up. If you do need to stop and put a foot down, try to do it on a hard surface. It's pretty frustrating to have to bang or chip out your cleats the entire ride. Another tip is focus on getting your weight back over the bike. Whether you're climbing or descending, on a slippery surface, you wanna make sure that your weight is fairly evenly distributed and going straight into the rear tire when you're pedaling. So as you can see here, a lot of times I'm actually just hovering over the saddle, putting into the pedals. If I stand up, I'm gonna lose traction almost immediately. Finally, always aim to have a nice relaxed body position. If you watch the videos, I always have a little bit of a bend in my knees and in my arms. That makes it a lot easier to absorb bumps and especially when you're going through something like snow, there can be things under the snow that you can't actually see, so being able to react to those is really important. Kind of sounds silly, but I always like to think of being like a big cat, a tiger, or even a little house cat, ready to react to everything under you. Never tense, but ready to spring into action when you need to. Thanks for joining me. I hope those tips helped. See you next week.